Alta is an interesting place to put a ski area, especially in a time frame of the early mid 30s, because we didn't know a lot about avalanches at the time. This place is a box canyon with only one way in or out, and it's incredibly steep. And you couple steep terrain with lots and lots and lots of snow, and all of a sudden you have an avalanche problem. That would all be hunky-dory, frankly, if you didn't add people to it, but we did. And it's what's made Alta the center of the avalanche universe in a lot of people's eyes for a long time. Originally, to keep people safe at the ski area and in what was the town of Alta, the Forest Service basically said, we need to assign somebody to take a look at things here, you know, like do our due diligence, what we can do right now. Kind of the folklore, the, the great story of how artillery use started was a gentleman named Monty Atwater returned from the Second World War and took a job up here studying and mitigating avalanches in Little Cottonwood Canyon. And uh, he had the concept that he could use artillery and explosives to mitigate avalanches. But at that time, you couldn't just get an artillery piece and start shooting avalanches. This was unheard of. So he called up the National Guard and was able to obtain a French 75 millimeter pack howitzer. Initially, it was only the National Guard who could shoot the gun but um, you would have to give 24 hours notice. And sometimes that's a tall order. So there were several instances where Monty was like, hey, we need to shoot the gun now. The road's closed. There's nobody coming up here. Um, I'm gonna shoot it. And so he did and made great avalanches and they opened up the skiing. And eventually it sounds like word got out that Wow, Alta opened up and everyone was skiing. Well, how'd you do that without the National Guard up there? And so word got out that, you know, he shot it without permission. Something that wouldn't happen today, the Army National Guard said, well, okay, that seems to work fairly well. Uh, go ahead and do your thing. The stipulation was made, okay, you can shoot this under emergency conditions. And, um, and, I, and it sounds like, you know, he figured Anytime there was a chance to make avalanches, that was an emergency decision. And then from there, uh, it sounds like that, the, that French 75 came to live up at Alta, the ammunition was up here, so then they could use it in a good operational way. Something that Alta is very, very proud of is that Atwater developed the artillery and explosives program that is now standard practice around the world. And that's something that, that uh, that's a piece of history we hold very dear to our hearts. Lying on a mountainside, snow looks so innocent, so bland, and to the uneducated eye, so unchanging. Yet the avalanche hunter knows it to be the most changeable substance on earth. To an ex-infantryman, the answer was obvious. Fight the avalanches. The means, explosives. You go up there in the dark and you have this, this artillery piece which is, is made to, by design, do a lot of damage. And you're gonna use it for a strictly peaceful purpose. You're gonna use it to save lives instead of take them. And there's something really romantic about that. The first hundred times that you pull the trigger are incredibly exciting. Butter. And the last hundred times that you'll pull the trigger are equally as exciting. Somewhere in there you develop a real respect for what you're doing and the power behind it and the requirement that it's done right every single time.
This will be the last year of military artillery for use in avalanche mitigation within Alta ski area. It is no longer state of the art to be using Second World War era military artillery for avalanche mitigation. There are safer and more effective methods now. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tool for a long time, and I'm gonna miss it.